Jesse here with Moto X Addicts with our first practice qualifying report. The story of the day is the Camelback Loop section. This thing's tricky. The riders haven't seen anything like this before and it's given them benefits. They're not sure whether they should skim it, jump it. It's going to be interesting tonight to see what happens and I, I think it's going to make for a lot of passing. Lap times will be the top 10, 450 guys is close. But that's not actually an indicator. There's a lot of mistakes being made out there. There's a couple storylines to watch tonight. The long loop section similar to Glendale is going to make for some passing. The Camelback loops. And then also, we got some drama going on. We got Justin Barsha. We got Eli Tomac playing a little cat and mouse out there. Uh, Barsha gave him the big whip, look back. I don't think Tomac appreciated it. Uh, definitely keep an eye on that. Also keep an eye on Marvin and Anderson. They're not exactly getting along either. Uh, in addition to that, unfortunately we got some bad news. Jake Weimer suffered an injury. It doesn't look good. He had his hand wrapped up. Good chance it's broke. Good chance he's out probably for uh, an indeterminate amount of time, but I'm guessing probably the whole season. Uh, Baggett, Blake Baggett, finally showing his speed out there. This guy has been talked about and talked about, and he's been a practice track legend. Uh, everyone talks about him coming this season, but he hasn't really shown it. Last week he got on the podium. This week he's jumped up for fast block qualifying. The guy we expected to probably be fastest was Anderson, who literally spent the whole session rolling around, looking for spots, checking the track out, and through one lap, actually one lap near the end of the session, but Justin Barsha actually got in his way. I don't think it was intentional. I don't think there's any bad blood, but he did block his last time. And it was uh, three tenths slower than Tony and uh, back in the 250 class. We've got some bad news to start. Joey Savacci took a bad crash at the end of the whoop section. Looks to be out for the evening. He did not make. He crashed in the free practice and didn't line up for the qualifying session. So I'm guessing he's out for the night. Eric Plessinger, our guy, the guy on top who's got the red plate, looked really good out there. He's taking some unique lines, but it's interesting. They're not fast. Uh, it, it looks like he's looking for places to pass, but when you look up on the clock, it, you know he just didn't jump up on the board. Adam Cicerillo and Christian Craig look to be on a mission tonight. Both of them going really, really fast. The problem with uh, you know Adam Cicerillo is the same thing he's had all week. He can't keep it off the ground. As soon as he puts in a fast time, bam, he hits the ground. You know, it, it's almost his trademark now to be doing interviews with dirt on his shoulder. Fast qualifier after he picked himself up. Christian Craig, on the other hand, just tucked his front end. He's going to be solid all night. I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised to see him break. Thanks. I'll be back with some more updates later on.